Yo. What is up, my good news? It's your boy, Connor Vallone here. Did this way too many fucking goddamn times. And times. I'm sorry, I recorded way too many goddamn times. Each one was shit. Uh, but anyway, you most likely saw the title of this video, and you're most likely like, Conrad, what are you smoking? Both my viewers and people who've come to this channel who are new. To which that I say, to any returning, to any old, to any old, any subscribers who are still a little part of this crew, please be sure to hit that like button. To any new guys, please hit that subscribe button. button. Pretty much short gist of it. But I feel like I can easily explain it. Because I already said it in the controversial Pokemon video, so I'll just give the what I can ad remember in the ad lib version. I stated before that I wanted quant quality rather than quantity, since people in the Pokemon community, i.e., uh, Prima National Dex, National Dex, and how I personally see the movement as rather a strive for quantity rather than quality. You know, since oh, we want all the Pokemon in there, it shouldn't be that all the Pokemon in there, when frankly it's just demanding of something that was inevitably going to be removed. Removed. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. About it. it was gonna... About it. It can't just be kept on forever and ever and ever. ever. Especially if one Game Freak wants to release Pokemon games at best in a two to three year fashion. Fashion. Basically, they want to release the games at the time that they want. Want or rather, what Nintendo wants, because they don't want to get get kicked out and have kicked out and get want someone else to touch their fucking product, bunch of bunch of weirdos to touch their fucking product, that's the mainline series product. Then okay. So yeah, we got that as an idea, right? I feel like that has something of merit. Because, honestly, I just want to make this clear. I don't want want Pokemon want Diamond and Pearl remakes coming out this year. Meaning, I don't want them coming out in 2021. I'd rather they come out in 2022 or 2023. Reason why? I bet most of you are asking. Well, once again, it's going to be an added version. But it's because I'd rather these games are given time and quality and polish to become the very best that they can be possibly. And for the developers to feel personally... Yeah, this is a good fucking game. game. I feel proud to make this. I want a fucking game like Gen 5 again. That's what I fucking need. A good ass fucking game. Minus the backlash. Backlash, backlash, the dumb backlash. Yeah, that's it. And plus, keep in note, Game Freak is kind of, how can I put this? Not in a good stance. Reason why? Well... I feel like I shouldn't have to explain it, but think about National X. Keep note: the Pokemon fandom is basically split in half. One half, half, half is extremely mad and hates Game Freak, Freak, and feels like all the problems with Pokemon stem from them and their laziness. Laziness? Oh no, it's actually not one half split in half. It's more or less split into three sections. One base of the fandom believes it's Game Game Freaks at the Game Freaks the main core and prop, problem problem and that they're being lazy idiots who don't idiots who aren't putting enough care into the franchise. Guys, watch lock watch any locks in video and you realize oh wait actually they actually do put care and passion into this franchise franchise when it comes to when they actually think of the lore about lore into the designs of each Pokemon on the regional basis. Just we have another section that believes, oh, believes no, it's not game fault. They're being clearly being rushed, and they're not not having enough time to actually to make sure these games are the best of their abilities. I'm a part of this camp, it's this camp, this camp, and we have the other section <laughs> section that believes the games are perfectly fine, and everyone's just blowing it out of proportion, portion, and that no one's really understanding or caring about where Game Freak is at mentally. Mentally, mentally, and it's actually trying to actually give them actual support. Basically, we have to, like, I think we have three camps. I might have missed a few. Tell me if we have any more camp or camps. Prima National Dex, Dex. Now, keep no Prima National Dex members are part of the first and second camp that I mentioned, and I'm not a part of Prima National Dex because I don't support support, support the idea of having all. Of it because frankly it impede 
because it frankly sacrifices the quality ideal for quantity. Hence why I'm not a supporter of Beeman Nash's decks. I was actually trying to, well, I do, un and Keith, no, I see it before, I do understand or understand where they're coming from. I truly do. And this isn't a me, just me being a prick and just saying, fuck you, why are you bitching about your fucking mons? No, I understand where you guys are coming from. Heck, in the controversial Pokemon video, video, video that I made, I say it clearly that I do understand. Heck, I even made a Pokemon Reborn video where I was playing, I was doing a let's play of it, and for the series, is in where I stated clearly my own feelings and thoughts, and those feelings still reign true. True. And especially when it comes to the whole Bring Me National, there's no whole Bring Me National decks, I personally, I said it before in the whole Sword and the Warm Bow videos, so if you want to know every day I feel about it, watch those too, because those are all my fucking, me just blurring out my opinion on the fucking screen. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much right. I mean, what the fuck am I telling you? Is it the, oh, yeah, 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 it's right there. Fucking right there. Just go watch it. But, that should give a clear, good, if not infinitely strong reason to why I personally just feel I don't want these teams coming out now. But don't worry, I will make a video saying on what, what I want and what I don't want in, po in Diamond and Pro remakes, but... Makes, but... Yeah, it should be pretty easy, personally. But I personally just don't feel like I want these. I don't want these games coming out now. And I get there are a lot of people who are saying they're ready for Diamond and Pearl Rings. They're ready for. It. But keep note, I said before, I want them to be want them to make Diamond and Pearl Rings that they can stay stand and and say we are 100% proud of the game we fucking made. And I understand some of you guys may say, oh, we don't like it. Oh, this doesn't do what this did. It's garbage. But we put our hearts and soul into this game. We put a lot of... So... <sighs> it's hard to put it into words. I must state this very clearly. But we want to make a game that can make every single one of you happy. We did not want to make a game that would make one group happy. We didn't want to make a game that would make another group happy. We wanted to make the best quality Pokemon on Remake that we could. One that would blow Heart Gold and Soul Silver out of the fucking waters. And that's what we wanted to do. And I hope we were able to do that with this game. With this Diamond and Pearl Remake. That's what I want. Now most of you are like, Connor, you really are setting a high bar for them now with what you just said. Yep. <sighs> so, I, I hope I made that clear. I mean, all I want to say, I just, just want to make sure that these games have the much polish as fucking possible. So I want them, because keep note, note, in order to fucking make this, fix this fucking fandom again, yeah, and they need to make a really bomber ass of a game. And also, don't listen to IGN articles. Don't do that. Don't. Don't. I, I feel like I should make that clear. To anyone who's getting upset over IGN articles, it's IG fucking end. They're not good not good gaming journalists to begin with. Don't get. Don't start bitching about how wrong they are when, when they are right. Everyone's gonna tell you, uh, dumb. Seriously. No one's. Everybody who has a. No, you smart will tell you, never trust an IGN article. Nor a Polygono. No, just, just don't trust any mainstream video game journalist. That's, 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 that's the moral of the story here. Let's think, it's either think for yourself, listen to multiple other reviews, used from varying distant sources, because keep note, you no, know, if you just listen to the people who are part of your side, you're just gonna hear the same, same echo chamber. Listen to different, different perspectives and different voices. That's the wisest thing you can do. Keep note, I'd rather our Pokemon is given time to truly become something even bigger than it already is. I don't want to see the series fail. I don't want to see the franchise fail. No. I don't want to see any more alleged Pokemon killers. In fact, I rather what I know what I'd rather see? I'd rather see more monster catching game catching genre based games. Not poke not games that are trying to be like Pokemon. But games that try to be themselves. 
Why the fuck did I bring that up? But anyway. That's all I wanted to say, and that's all I wanted to get on my opinion. Papa ZB's that, so that's everything Papa ZB can give you right now. Uh, well, what I want and what I don't want in Pokemon Sword, Pokemon's Diamond and Pro remakes, uh, will be coming out somewhat soon. I don't know, I may make, make a video after this one. But anyway, uh, please sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. You know the drill, you know the gist of it by now. So, anyway, just kind of alone signing off. Ciao.